Greetings, everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe, and um, I thank God for bringing me the opportunity to bring God's Word to you, God's people. Bless the Lord at all times. So today's Word comes from Acts 13, verses 42 to 52, and it is called Paul and Barnabas in Antioch and Pisidia. But I have as you all know, affectionately renamed it Law and Order. Many of us by now have witnessed reel after reel of the insurrection of the United States Capitol. We watched as domestic terrorists, commoners, thugs, rioters, and the like descended upon the United States Capitol at the behest of the Commander-in-Chief and his cohorts. It was a deplorable sight to see, but more astonishing was the law enforcement overpowered for a time, but then seemed to gain the advantage when enforce, enforcements were called in. But they did little or nothing to shoo the rioters away. A tap here and a tap there and a spritz of tear gas. I immediately thought back to civil rights marches and the city riots that I experienced growing up. I can still hear the sirens, see and feel the burn of the tear gas in my eyes. I was a kid at the time. When Black Lives Matter marches took place all over the world, law enforcement was very present. They were some might say a clear and present danger to the voices of many demanding change to the systematic oppression that plagues most people of color. So I thought, what is it that makes us so afraid of change? Save America from what? If we live long enough, we know that everything must change. Nothing stays the same. Stevie Wonder said it best. Just listen to his song. As we read the text in Acts chapter 13, verses 42 to 52, we learn that Paul, who was once Saul, and Barnabas are in Antioch and Pisidia preaching the word of the Lord. They are talking about the saving grace of Jesus Christ to devout followers of Judaism or the Mosaic Law or the Old Testament religious teachings. Some of them urged Paul and Barnabas to come on back next Sunday and preach again in our synagogues. So Paul and Barnabas did, and they drew a bigger crowd and many became believers in the word of the Lord. However, a lot of folks listening to Paul and Barnabas going on and on about Jesus were not happy about it. They were jealous and contradicted what Paul and Barnabas were saying about Jesus Christ. They didn't want things to change. They wanted, they wanted preaching to be about Mosaic laws, old school teachings, the Old Testament. But Paul and Barnabas preached the word of the Lord to the Gentiles in the region, and the word of the Lord began to spread. Eventually, they persecuted Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. They were afraid of the change that was taking place. So what does, the, what does this mean for us? I am so very glad you asked. It could mean that our lives, as our lives continue to change, we have to work together so that our lives don't fall apart. It could also mean that we have to educate ourselves so that when fear arises, we recognize it and let me backtrack. So that when fear arises because something is changing or has changed, we recognize the fear and are not consumed by it. So that's the, the key, not to be consumed by the fear because something is changing. 
Change is inevitable, so fear not. Until we meet again, may God's grace and the beauty of the Lord's word give you peace and comfort. Amen.